got timekeepers ready. The fighters are ready. Dan, are Let's you ready? This. Let's do this. I'm ready to see some fists and feet fly. Round one, underway. Chevrofi in the black and white. Navarro in the blue with the gold trim. Chevy looking to establish that inside leg kick early. Chevy coming out super aggressive on the bottle right Big, now. Big heavy right hands from Chevy. Chevrofi is looking to take the gas out of the locomotive here tonight. You know, Marcy was a very, very patient guy. He's going to pick his spots. He's going to try and figure uh, Chevy out and then slowly start to pick him. He's really starting to use that jab a lot to keep Chevy back on his on his heels. You don't become 28 and 0 for nothing. He's, he's throwing a pretty high volume of punches, you know, from Chevy, so we'll see how, how big that Chevy gas tank is. You can see Iron Chevrofi. Chevy is throwing heavy hands right now. Ah, nice combination. Tried to sneak in an elbow on Navarro. Navarro is with a lot of great head movement. He's slipping in and out. He's picking his spots pretty well. You see him pulling back on those uh, those two two strikes from Chevy. Navarro with the nice faint gets on the inside, catches Chevy with the nice shot. He's really making that jab work for him. Think he caught him. Think he caught Chevy with a little, caught him with a nice shot. Little blood coming from the nose of Chevy right now. Yeah, but he answers with a really solid leg kick. Then Navarro answers right back. Ah, nice, nice take. That was not a knockdown. Was it a takedown? Does a ref rule it a takedown? Uh, I guess he actually is. Ref does not rule it a takedown. Not necessarily not a, a knockdown, knockdown. But he does rule it as a takedown. Points for Navarro. Chevrofi comes right back, right back to the center of the cage, and he connects with a nice, stiff right hand to the face of Navarro. Vicious body shot by Chevrofi. But you yeah. see the veteran Navarro stays right. Look at the head movement. Navarro stays right in front of Chevy, not backing down from Chevy just throwing a ridiculous just, amount of punches. Chevy just throwing hands, and they're connecting with nothing but leather right now. Now, Marcy is a guy that fights a little more, uh, especially in this style of fighting, a little more like a true Muay Thai fighter. A little slow to start, and then he's going to slowly pick up the pace. A couple of nice shots from Chevy. Chevy connects with a nice knee to the body. Navarro backs out, returns fire with a couple of punches of his own to Chevrofi. Nice body shot from Chevy right there. 10 seconds left to go here in round number one, here in our co-main event at EFC4. Nice wow. flurry to end round number one. Navarro catches Chevrofi with a nice shot at the end of round one right there, Dan. Yeah, you know, they, there was a nice little flurry at the end. Both fighters thought they needed to steal that round. Um, I'm giving it a very, probably a very thin 10-9 to Navajo on that one in the first round. Bree, our beautiful ring girl from Supplement World. Top Shot Print Repair. TopShotPaint.com. Round two set to get underway. Who would you give that first round to right there, Dan? Well, like I said a second ago, I, I think it's a thin 10-9 probably to Navajo. I thought his strikes were a little bit more effective. Chevy definitely had the volume. He definitely threw some big shots, but with, you know, Marcio landing those leg kicks and getting him down like that from the from that leg kick, I think I got to give it to Navajo. I'd have to agree with you. Marcio came out a little more, a little more aggressive. Chevrofi breathing yeah. kind of hard right now. Look how look how calm Navajo is. You can see the the veteran. Uh, that I think the calmness comes from 28 fights in this inside of the cage. Yeah. I think that comes after over time. You develop a calmness about you. You can see the young lion, Iron Chevrofi, comes back out, ready to lay in the leather on the old wily veteran Navarro. Chevy might be a little bit tired, but he is not slowing down one second. Nice combination, nice response from Navarro. Big heavy shots from Chevy right there. Iron Chevrofi comes back with some huge shots against Navarro. Nice leg kick, breaking. Navarro might need to check those leg kicks from Chevy right there. Yeah, Chevy got in a couple of good shots and he got a little aggressive when he started coming forward. 
He kept running into that jab at Navajo, and he eats another one right there. And you see the veteran Navarro keeps moving, keeps that head movement going, trying to stay out of the direct line of fire that was a from big leg kick from Navarro right there. Oh, nice one-two combination followed with the leg kick by Navarro to Ian, oh, to Shevrafi. No knockdown, no knockdown from Nick Barron's right there. Both fighters back up to their feet in the middle of the ring, Dan. Yeah, Chevy's really landing some nice shots here, but you can see those those leg kicks really starting to add up on the inside leg, left leg of Chevy there. Marcio, right red. Marcio comes back with a nice heavy right, right down the pipe on Chevy. See both fighters just opening up, just standing and trading right now. Chevy with a couple of nice leg kicks there. And Navajo up top with the head Navajo kick. Navajo with a nice up kick. Just missed oh, with that uppercut. With a nice uppercut and then follows it with a right hook to the face of Chevrofi. Hands up, hands up. You can see the veteran Navarro He's is not backing down. Starting to find home. He's starting home. to find the range of Chevrofi right now. That iron chin is just that, iron. Anybody else would have went down by now. Chevy, iron Chevrofi. Oh my goodness. They don't call him Iron for nothing because he took some huge shot from Navarro oh, and another Chevy's one right hurt. there. He's starting to feel those. Oh those are my goodness! Up. You can see he is starting to. Woo! You can see the veteran is nice starting to turn it up. You can see he is starting to rev the engine on that locomotive. Navarro, Iron Chevrofi. Reverses field on him, but Navarro catches him with Man, a huge that knee. Rock solid. Oh, wow. a big shot to the face. Superman Beautiful punch by kick. Navarro. Chevy will not be brought down. Ten oh, wow. What a Chevy shot. goes down. What a shot by Navarro at the end of round two. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. And wow, Dan. Oh my goodness. That just you, put half the crowd in here on their feet. I think half of the building inside of Kansas Star. Ladies and gentlemen, Arena make some noise for that fantastic round. Right and these two fighters the putting it on for EFC. It looks like on his forehead. Hopefully they'll let this fight continue because this fight is everything that we could have ever asked for. This is absolutely out of control, Dan. Both of these fighters are banging. We got the young lion, Iron Chevrofi, versus the wily veteran in Marcio Navarro. That, it is absolutely insane right now. I don't think there's any doubt about who took that round, but my lord, that chin of Chevy, Iron iron ferris because that thing you cannot drill through that you cannot punch through that that kid just does not go down i thought for sure he was done you can see the corner of chevrofi firing him up you can see they are imploring him to come out and bang chevy said that he has so much respect for his opponent, but he is looking at this as a personal challenge. Yeah, you see that respect right there. And both fighters come to the middle of the ring and hug it out. Here Listen we go, crowd. round three. Chevrofi versus Navarro. He's gotta get that head movement working for him. Chevy cannot keep coming forward into those fists of Navarro. You can see both fighters wanna leave here with the W tonight, Dan. Chevy's not fighting a bad fight at all. He's landing some big, big shots. He's dropping those leg kicks. The thing is, with that forward, forward, straightforward movement, he's just running into a lot of Marcio Navajo's fists. You can see that both fighters are getting really gassed right now. They've given it all they got. And you can see the veteran, Navarro, still coming forward, pressing the pace, and staying on top of Chevrofi. But he's doing it in a very, very calm and composed manner. He knows he's ahead in this fight right now. 
He's going to pick his spots. He's not going to overextend himself too much in this final round. But he's if he sees an opening wheel, he's going to take it. Nice one-two combo. And then followed up with another one by Navarro. Nice uppercut. You can hear the corner of Chevrofi employing him to just do something. Come with the action. Chevrofi Iron is going to need something huge here in this third and final round. Oh, Big overhand right forward by a left hook by Navarro. Shot. Marcio is just laying in the leather on Brandon right now. You can see this kid is in deep water right now. Chevy's and the hurt. Veteran, Chevy's hurt. The veteran can tell, and he smells blood, literally. You can see Marcio is looking for that kill shot. He's looking to finish the night with a bang over iron. But you can see the iron chin of Chevy is not letting him back down, Dan. Absolutely not. Chevy, Chevy looks hurt. He looks tired. His face is bloody. His eyes are swollen. And he is still fighting. He's fighting hard. Couple of kicks connect with nothing by Navarro. Come on, get him. This is why people love kickboxing so much, Will. It's all action. The full fight. A nice couple of lefts by Marcio Navarro. You can see the blood on the face of Chevrafi. Chevy answering everything Navarro throws back at him. Navarro just looks like he's having a good time in there. He's looking comfortable, and Chevy is looking tired right now. You can just see the veteran is looking comfortable. I think that comes from having 28 pro fights under your belt. Ten seconds to go here in the last round. Nice flurry. You can see both fighters are gonna leave it all in the cage here tonight. Oh my goodness! Make some noise! Yeah. Absolutely amazing. When you get the ring, ringside announcers on their feet and clapping, you know you threw down. You know you had a battle. Absolutely amazing. Chevrofi versus Navarro. Navarro said he wanted to come in and make his fight of the night, and I think he might just have done that. Yeah, those guys delivered on everything they said they wanted to do. They were going to stand and bang. They were going to trade all night until somebody went down. Wow. Listen to this crowd. Look how many people are on their feet, Will. You can just see the crowd inside of the Candy Store Casino and Arena. They are all on their feet, standing in fire. Extraordinary. Let's go up to the ring at Chris Gerhardt. Marcio! Marcio! Good job, baby! Marcio confident that he got the fight of the night with that one. Very confident. Very happy with the outcome. The Wiley veteran moves to 28-0 on the night here. Impressive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read this scorecard, I think everyone in this room feels the same way. Let's give one more round of applause for both these guys in that fantastic fight. You can That's why we came here today, you right there. You can hear all the adulation and love for these two guys. Chris respect. Gerhardt with the official decision. We go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this contest for your winner by unanimous decision. Marcio the Locomotive Navajo! The Wiley veteran, impressive.
improves to 29-0 against the young upstart Brendan Iron Shepherdy tonight. And you can see all the love and respect from these two warriors. They really, really actually like each other. But you wouldn't know it from that. Ladies fight. and gentlemen, I'm here tell. with the winner, Marcio. Marcio, that's your 29th Marcio. victory in kickboxing. What did it feel like throwing those hands with Brandon up there? Man. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. That was his debut. I know, I know. I told him, I was like, he, he needs to do kickboxing more. <laughs> He's a tough motherfucker. So that was awesome fight. I, by myself, I could not do that. So he had 50% of the show here. Okay, it's 50% my, 50% for him. So it was awesome. Hey man, I had, a, I had my world kickboxing title and that fight was not tough like this fight over here. That's the most, the, the toughest fight I ever had in kickboxing. When David Rickles first told us he was making this matchup, everyone goes 29 and over's debut. That doesn't make any sense. But we just saw why that was happening. We brought in a tough guy with some MMA experience. You had some MMA experience as well, but you guys put on the kickboxing gloves. What do you, what would you like to see yourself doing in the future? Do you want to do more kickboxing bouts inside the cage like this? Would you like to go back to MMA? What's next for you? Well, I still want to do MMA. Uh, not with Brenda, of course. Uh, but kickbox is like, uh, Man, I do kickbox for like over 25 years. So that's what I do. I love to do this. I feel like so comfortable here. And man, I keep learning so much, so much. And now like 2020, man, great coach. He, he shared with me like a lot of his experience. So I have a bunch of friends, people that trained with me in the past that helped me today. Like Jay, for example, he helped me. Morgan always for me, man, that's awesome. But I don't know, 29, no, no. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else that you want to say to the fans here tonight or the fans and friendly or friends and family that may be watching on Flow Combat at home? You know why? You, you all watch Bellator. We know David Rico's over here, right? So imagine if we have the big show over here. We have the, the dynamite over here. We have the cage over there with David Rico's and I have the boxing ring over here with Mars Navajo. What do you think about that? Let's bring this show over here to Kansas. Come on, Dave. Let's bring that up. Come on. Bring that here. Come on, come on, Bellator. Look at me over here. Come on, I'm old. I'm close to stop. The locomotive over here is old. Come on, give me a chance, please. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your winner, and still with a personal, perfect professional record, Marcio, the locomotive Navarro. What a fight. I would just, <laughs> personally,